Denial of evolution is unique to the United States. Generally, the United States is where most of the innovation still happens. People still move to the United States. And that's largely because of the intellectual capital we have, the, the general understanding of science. When you have a portion of the population that doesn't believe in that, it holds everybody back. Evolution is the fundamental idea in all of life science, in all of biology. It's very much analogous to trying to do geology without believing in tectonic plates. You're just not going to get the right answer. Your whole world is just going to be a mystery instead of an exciting place. Once in a while, I get people that claim they don't believe in evolution. And my response generally is, well, why not? Really, why not? Your world just becomes fantastically complicated when you don't believe in evolution. I mean, you hear are these ancient dinosaur bones or fossils. Here is uh, radioactivity. Here are distant stars that are just like our star, but that are at a different point in their life cycle. The idea of deep time of this of billions of years explains so much of the world around us. If you try to ignore that, your worldview just becomes untenable, itself inconsistent. And I say to the grown-ups, if you want to deny evolution and live in your world that's completely inconsistent with everything we observe in the universe, that's fine. But don't make your kids do it, because we need them. We need scientifically literate voters and taxpayers for the future. We need engineers that can build stuff, solve problems. These are, it's just really a hard thing. It's, it's really a hard thing. You know, in another couple centuries, though, that worldview, I'm sure, will be, it just won't exist. Mm -hmm.